Chicago rapper Lil Durk is in police custody this morning. And he was allegedly involved in a murder for hire plot. Roseanne is in studio with the very latest here. Roseanne? Uh, good morning. Well, we know him as Little Dirk, but his full name is Dirk Banks, and he was taken into custody in Broward County, Florida last night. Dirks is charged with murder for hire in the killing of another rapper's cousin. Five other Chicago men were also hit with federal charges involving the same murder for hire plot. The group was allegedly hired to kill the cousin of rapper Quando Rondo back in 2022 in Los Angeles. Now, that plot was allegedly ordered as revenge for the killing of rapper King Vaughn back in 2020. This is not Dirk's first run-in with the law either. He faced five felony charges stemming from his alleged connection to a shooting back in 2019. He is now being held without bond. Welcome to Novice Activation, where we talk about race, culture, and society, and we try to have ourselves a quick little laugh. I'm your host, Merck. The California Prosecutor's Office gathered some evidence against five men who had allegedly traveled to California to take part in this murder for hire plot. Behest of Little Dirk. This is in 2022, the murder actually happened. Right now, the search is on for three people who police say shot at a Savannah rapper, killing a member of his entourage. It happened in Los Angeles and cameras captured the aftermath. <laughs> Shots fired, a fight taken to the streets, and this chaotic scene, the ending of a shooting that started in Los Angeles, California. Sheriff's deputies pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. No! Savannah rapper Quando Rondo, a passenger in that car, frantic at the site. It all started at this mobile gas station at 5.30 Friday evening. LAPD says witnesses heard multiple gunshots, then watched a couple cars zoom off. Three people in one car shot at this black Cadillac Escalade. It's unclear if those inside shot back. Can I get, can I get some space, please? It ended at Santa Monica Boulevard. Deputies found it peppered with bullet holes and a shattered window. One man inside, a member of Ronto's entourage, had been shot. A 23-year-old was taken to the hospital where he died. A scene left with remnants of the fight, shoes left in the street, doors flung open. The suspects still on the run. We still don't know what spurred it all, but LAPD says it started at a gas pump. Victim vehicle, uh, they pulled up, they were pumping gas. And it looks like they probably finished pumping gas and the suspects uh, approached from the alley, got out of the car and started shooting at those victims. Investigators are still trying to piece together details, but they're looking for a white four-door sedan with suspects wearing dark clothing. Yeah, it's wild, man. A lot of rappers are going to jail right now. It's a pretty significant list of rappers that are either going to jail or either in jail right now. Yeah, the list just can... The list is long, man. Wow. The shooting that we're talking about is believed to be in retaliation for King Von. This was a Little Dirk affiliated rapper that uh, was killed years back. Uh, it was following an altercation with Kron Wando and his crew. Did you have time to be like, no, Von, don't, don't fight? Or did I didn't anything? know he was going to fight. He just jumped out the car and from there, is what y'all seeing on the video. They got into a scuffle. Boom, 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 then a thunder clouds of, of bullets, like of sounds just started. Officers were shooting, other people were shooting. It was a lot of stuff going on. Why do you think he punched Quando then? That's, 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 what, that's what happens when, they, when you mix street with music. You can make your own assessment from what that means. Quando Rondo insisted that the shooting was from him defending himself from young Devon's aggression via the surveillance video you can check out if you if you so inclined to. Man, people are always falling for the trap. Always falling for the trap. Now you got young talented brothers dead and in jail. When is the fucking the cycle ever gonna stop? I'm not the, gonna be the one that preach and wag my finger at anybody. But goddamn, this is pretty evident right here. Is it right in front of your face of how this cycle works? Right there. It's, it's obvious. Little Dirk seemed like he's been shamed in this whole campaign, riding for Vaughn and all this whole thing. When, I don't know, I don't know if it's coming from within the community or outside or maybe it's just fans or whatnot. 
but they almost shamed the guy into taking action that maybe he wouldn't have otherwise taken, or maybe he would have, who knows? Only he knows. Maybe the, this Ride for Vine campaign, it kind of diminishes your character if you don't ride for Vaughn. And if you do ride for Vaughn, this is what you end up with. A whole indictment in federal prosecutor's office saying that you're involved in a murder. This is like the tip top of accusations, people. This is the apex. Once they have arrested you for a homicide, you're pretty much fighting for your life at that point. It's real victims, real life scenarios. So, I don't know, what do you guys think, family? It's Merck, your Negro Administrator. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video, and we out.